So, here it is. It is Charles's old bike. I bought it for 265 euros. It doesn't currently run. I uh, left the key inside so I cannot show you, but trust me, it doesn't run. I mean, right now, nothing works. Lights don't work, dash doesn't light up, nothing happens when you turn the key. I know they, these are not the best angles, guys, but as you could see, the sand outside, can't really take it outside. But it's an R125 2014 with about 20,000 kilometers on it. The reason nothing lights up is because the battery under the seat is dead, so that needs to be replaced. All the lights still work, all the electronics still work, it's just a small problem with the with the engine. I know what the problem is. The distribution chain that's running right behind these panels uh, is not on properly. This bike has a few mods, it has a fender eliminator, it has a full carbon fiber Akrapovich full system. It has a bunch of stickers which are worth nothing but uh, it has a new tail light with indicate uh, with built-in indicators. It has the small flush mounted indicators in the front. I don't know if these still work. I think so. It has aftermarket levers. I think he has aftermarket like bulbs in it as well. Not too sure. I have to check. He has a aftermarket screen which uh, has a crack in it right here. So that's worth nothing. Um, what else does he have? He has a KNN air filter in it. He has a 150cc big bore kit on it. It has brand new Pirelli tires. And that's about it, I think. And there's this phone mount, which is useless to me as well. A bunch of stickers. Uh, th so the reason it doesn't turn on like any lights is the battery is dead. Also, the ECU is currently missing, which Charles is going to bring me if he finds it. And the distribution chain needs to be fixed. And there is an awesome sticker on there. But yeah, these tires are still pretty new. There's still like 90% of the of them is still there. So he's got like changed not too long before he stopped riding on it but he now has a new bike the Kawasaki Z650 I'm sorry these angles are a little bit shitty but I really cannot take it outside because you know it's a dirt track out here and also I cleaned everything up all my PBR parts are nice and neatly organized tonight tanks handlebars swing arms front forks, all my tires and rims, two frames, three seats, an engine in the cardboard box, an engine in that box, those, that box and those two bags are full of parts, just cleaned everything up, some new parts right here, all new, random brackets, and these are all new as well, and uh, I feel exhausted, you know, I just had to clean up, there's still a little bit of random stuff up there, which uh, these are some parts that I have laid aside for the purple PBR. Uh, but I had to clean it up because everything was a mess and this bike would, uh, wouldn't would fit in here, but now it does. So that's awesome. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, as I maybe already mentioned. I don't know. Oh, and there's also a spring right in there still. <laughs> Didn't even notice. But um, I want to create a poll. Yeah, I picked it up for a steel because it is not working and Charles had to get rid of it because he's actually moving. He's moving from, uh, I don't know where to where, but uh, it doesn't really matter. But he had to get rid of it and he could use a little bit of extra cash. And because Charles is a nice guy, he gave me it for a steel. So 200. I mean, I don't know if it's a steel yet. There might be some major problems that he's not telling me about, but... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, so we'll see. Yo, you guys, my name is Legend and welcome to my YouTube channel. So you guys saw the intro clip. I figured I will give a little bit more information about what's really going on with this. So I got the bike from Charles, if you don't know, he's a friend of mine. 
it's his old R125 which he rode daily it has around 26 25 26 thousand kilometers on it needs a few small things I, I went over that now that's this is actually a second R125 the first one he crashed and he got this one the one that I have from insurance now it has been sitting in his garage for a long time because it needed some work but he bought his Kawasaki Z650 so he didn't really pay any attention to the R125 anymore so now Charles is moving so he needs to get rid of everything he needs to move everything from his old house to his new house and the bike there's no space for it anymore so he wanted to get rid of it so he brought it over to me I, I'll, I said uh, I'll take a look uh, so he brought it over to me I said I'll take a look at it try to fix it and I jokingly said to Charles hey Charles can I buy it for for like 200 bucks and he's like sure and I'm like what what why he's like yeah man it's just standing there I don't need it I can do some quick cash right now and I'm like well it's worth more and he's like just take it man that's how I ended up with a bike for like 265 euros. Now it doesn't currently run, but I know it will because I know the bike. The thing is, I'm just not really sure what to do with it. Either I fix it and I sell it because I'm not going to keep two R125. So either I fix it and I sell it. Either I just sell the parts that are good on it, like the exhaust and all, all these stuff. I just strip it and I sell it in parts and I use that money for my other projects I'm working on or I make it into like some sort of like a custom project and I know all of you guys will probably want the custom project but and I want it as well but I'm just thinking I can use that money so so badly for other projects because I have a bunch, bunch of projects laying around that you guys don't even know about yet but I just cannot really start them because I don't have the money so I'm just making this video to ask you guys what you guys want to see so I'll leave a poll there or there, I don't know, up in, in the corner on the little eye. Just click it and let me know what you guys would want to see for that bike. And then I'll just think about what I'm going to do. I'm going to be honest, this is not a democratic vote. I just want to see like what you guys are interested in, but I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do yet. But just let, please let me know, it will help me out, figure out what I'm going to do with it. It's going to be either just part it out or make something awesome out of it. But I don't know yet. So use the money and make other awesome projects or turn it into a project. Which will take a while because I don't have any money. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.